Okay guys, I just wanted to give a little update on this little prop controller board I made a couple weeks ago. Uh, I've been pleased with it for the most part, but there's one thing that I just wasn't quite happy about. Um, the whole purpose of this board is to uh, be able to set up your prop timings and not have to mess around with the uh, the actual firmware files themselves just to push the buttons but I had two settings that needed to be updated with with the actual firmware I had the um, sequence length as far as maximum sequence length you had to do in the firmware and then a uh, delay on the retrigger event also had to be uh, configured in the firmware itself so I've come up with a solution that I'm pretty pleased with. I'll show you how it works. What we've done is added a like a uh, option configuration menu. Right now the board is in the uh, untriggered state. It's playing the ambient audio. I'll turn it up a little bit. See if you can hear. And uh, what you do to get into the advanced options would be the button number three. Press it and hold it for three seconds. Please enter your preferred maximum sequence length. Press 1 to select 1 minute, 2 to select 2 minutes, 3 to select 3 minutes, or 4 to select 4 minutes. Choosing longer times will result in less accurate timing. Okay, so we just want a short sequence, so we're going to push the number 1 button. Please enter your preferred trigger delay time. Press 1 to select 1 minute, 2 to select 2 minutes, 3 to select 3 minutes, or 4 to select 4 minutes. Delays can be added together for a total of 10 minutes. When finished making your selection, press the record button to save your selection. Okay, I'm going to go with a 1 minute delay because nobody wants to watch a YouTube video of it sitting here doing nothing for three or four or ten minutes at a time so there's a one minute and then we push the record to save it and we're right back out to the uh, untriggered where we're ready to record a new sequence or play back one that's already been recorded so I'll just go ahead and record a new sequence into it real quick We'll just go real short one. Now we're back out to the ambient. And I'll trigger it. Okay, now I'm going to start the timer just to show you how this works. Whoops. Timer didn't start quite right. Well anyway, as you see, I cannot re-trigger it. And this is useful for a lot of reasons. Uh, you know, maybe you don't want your prop going off every time somebody walks by. Or maybe you don't want to trigger at all and you could just put a jumper on between the power and the sense wire and just have it go off every five minutes or every ten minutes or whatever you like but like I say it will not trigger until that one minute time expires we're up to 45 seconds now and it still won't re-trigger we're just sitting here waiting for the timer and then it'll re-trigger once the timer is expired well our timer is up now so right there and triggered and right back well I hope you like this new feature and happy Halloween